Today we're going to talk about snail creams and how they work on human skin. If they work on human skin, um, what are its benefits? What does it actually do for the skin? Let's get started. Snail mucin is the slime that comes from the underside of the snails as they move. Think about this. Snails are constantly moving on hard surfaces, rough surfaces, on soil and dirt, but they never seem to be affected by them. How? What protects them? It's the snail mucin which comes from the underside of snails. The snail mucin, the slime, it's got ingredients which can help to heal the snail. The slime, it's got two main important functions. Number one, it helps the snails move. Number two, it acts as a shield against all the rough and the hard surfaces and the dirt and the soil. And it's because of these ingredients, these ingredients that are helping the snail to heal, that we use the snail mucin in skincare products. Now let's get into the ingredients that are present in the snail mucin that is that's got so much appeal to the skincare manufacturers. Let's dissect this sna snail mucin. The first ingredient that's of interest is glycose aminoglycans. These are complex sugar molecules. They are humectants. Humectants are water magnets. Humectants attract themselves to the water, they, bind, they go to the water molecules and they bind themselves to the water molecules. These are water magnets. So it's this property of the humectants where they are binding themselves to the water molecules that keeps the skin hydrated. And as we all know, hydrated skin is soft and plump and we want that hydrated skin. The second ingredient that's of interest is allantoin. Allantoin calms irritated skin. It calms inflamed skin. The, the third set of ingredients are collagen and elastin. Collagen and elastin are proteins found naturally in our human body. They give our body its structure and elasticity. Without collagen and elastin, our skin becomes wrinkly and it starts sagging. So collagen and elastin play a very important role in the health of our skin. Having said that, the collagen and elastin that's present in the snail's slime can be too big. And if it's too big, it cannot penetrate and get into the deeper layers of skin. The collagen and elastin ingredients, they are effective only if they can get into the deeper layers of skin. So, though there is collagen and elastin present in the snail's mucin, it has to be taken with a pinch of salt, meaning um, uh, I, I, we shouldn't get too excited about it because it probably can never get to the deeper layers of skin to do its magic. The next ingredient that's of interest in the snail mucin is the glycolic acid. Glycolic acid, uh, it's got a dual role. Number one, it's an exfoliator. Number two, it's a humectant. By exfoliator, what we mean is it gently rubs off the dead skin cells from the top layer of the skin. So this exfoliation, it has a brightening effect on the skin. And glycolic acid is also a humectant. By that, as we already know, humectants are water magnets. So glycolic acid can sit on the top layer of our skin and attract the water molecules. It binds itself to the water molecules. And a hydrated skin, as we already know, is plump and, um, um, and that's the kind of skin we're after. The next ingredient is hyaluronic acid. Hyaluronic acid is also a humectant, just like glycolic acid and glycose amino glycans. So all these three are humectants. So the hyaluronic acid being a humectant, it also sits on the top layer of the skin, attracts the water molecules and keeps, binds itself to the water molecules because they're water magnets and it keeps the skin hydrated. The next set of ingredients that play an important role in a snail mucin is antimicrobial peptides. Now these are the peptides that can attack, it has a healing effect, it has a wound healing effect on the skin. So they basically 
Um, they basically attack the bad microorganisms and get rid of them and they heal the wound. The next set of ingredients that I would like to very briefly touch on are the copper and zinc peptides. Copper and zinc play a very important role in assisting the deeper layers of skin in the production of collagen and elastin. So as a result, we can say that copper and zinc have an important role in the health of the skin. A very quick recap of all the ingredients that we just covered, the ingredients that are there in the snail mucin and that are of interest to the skincare manufacturers. Uh, number one is the glycosaminoglycans, glycolic acid, and the hyaluronic acid. These three are the humectants. They bind themselves to water molecules and they can help keep the skin hydrated. Glycolic acid is also an exfoliator, so it gets rid of the dead cells from the top layer of skin and it, as a result, it brightens the skin. And then we've got the allantoin, which is, um, which is helpful in calming inflamed and irritated skin. Then we have antimicrobial peptides that can help in the wound healing. And uh, we have the collagen and elastin, which and collagen and elastin are proteins naturally found in our human body, and they play an important role. And they actually basically give the structure and the elasticity uh, for our skin. And finally, we have the copper and zinc peptides, which actually assist uh, the deep layers of skin to manufacture the collagen and elastin. Um, so we know that snail mucin works on snails. Snails are constantly moving around in hard surfaces, rough surfaces, dirt, soil, but they don't seem to be affected by it and it's all mainly because of the snail mucin. So we know it works, it's got a wound healing and it uh, effect and it um, uh, uh, helps in regeneration of their cells. Just because it works in a certain way in the snails, it does not mean it will work in the same way on our human skin. Irrespective of what the skincare manufacturers say, it's definitely not going to work in the same way in our skin. Certain ingredients in the snail mucin, like the collagen and the elastin and the copper and zinc peptides, will probably, most probably, most definitely not work on the human skin. Because if these ingredients are just going to sit on the surface of the skin, it will have no effect. These ingredients have to get to the deeper layers of skin to work its magic and get help and in, assist in the production of collagen and elastin. So unless the skincare manufacturer is using a specific formulation which helps them move from the surface of the skin to the deeper layers of skin, it's probably not going to have any effect. Uh, the ingredients that will probably most likely have a good effect on our skin are all the humectants, which is um, the hyaluronic acid, the glycolic acid, and the amino glyco glycos amino glycans. Yep glycos aminoglycans. So these are humectants, they're water binding, so it'll keep our skin hydrated. And there are also some uh, ingredients in there in snail mucin which will calm the soothe and calm and soothe the skin and inflamed skin. So allantoin um, and the antimicrobial peptides. So these ingredients can also help the product. So in effect, um, a, a snail cream um, is a moisturizer which has got all these water binding property ingredients with some soothing effect. So it's not the end all and the magic ingredient for everything. It's not going to give us all the collagen and elastin and regenerate the cells like it does in snail, but it does have some good effect on the skin. Before I go, three very quick things. Number one, skincare first and makeup second. Number two, sunscreen 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 without sunscreen irrespective of what ingredients you use on your face they're all pretty much useless so sunscreen 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 and finally forget all the marketing fluff that the skincare manufacturer the skincare brand says look at the packaging turn around look at the ingredients because ingredients are the only thing that don't lie bye for now See you in the next video.